Hello, welcome to Kellogg Public Library's virtual story time. My name is Sherry. The story I'm going to share with you today is Unicorn and Yeti, Fair and Square. This is a scholastic book written by Heather Aris Burnell, art by Hazel Quintanilla. Fair and Square. Shape up. Yeti stuck icicles into the snow one by one. Tree, tree, tree. What are you doing? I'm sticking icicles into the snow. They look like trees. They do look like trees. They also look like triangles. They do look like triangles. Let's make a forest. I will use rocks to make a trail through the forest. These rocks are squares. And this is a pond. It's also a circle. This forest is starting to shape up. I love shapes. Triangles are my favorite. Lots of my favorite things are triangles like trees and ice cream cones. Even your horn is a triangle. Look, I have a horn like you. What is your favorite shape? Hmm, there are so many different shapes. Circles are nice. Lots of my favorite things are circles like the sun and the moon. A ball and a ring look like circles too. Yes, they do. Squares are also nice. A gift looks like a square. I like stars. Stars are fancy. Stars make me think of magic. But do you know the shape I love the most? Hearts. Hearts are a very nice shape. Hearts show how I feel about my favorite friend. Look, Unicorn and Yeti are favorite friends in this forest, too. No fair, Yeti saw some water. What are you doing? I'm going to paint. What are you going to paint? I'm going to paint what I see. Do you want to paint with me? I can try. Your painting looks just like what I see. Mine does not. Painting is fun. Let's paint something else. Like what? What do you want to paint? Sparkly snowflakes. Okay. Swish, swish, swish. My snowflakes do not look like your snowflakes. That is okay, but they do not look like your snowflakes at all. Paintings of the same thing can look different. That makes painting fun. Let's paint something else. I don't know. I'm not a good painter. Yes, you are. Let's paint a picture of the sky. You can do it. Okay, I can try. Unicorn and Yeti painted and painted and painted. No fair, I cannot paint like you do. You are good at painting. I am not. This painting looks very good. What is it? That is the sun in the sky, but you cannot tell. I do not want to talk about my paintings. They are not fancy like yours. My paintings only look like what we see. Your paintings are fancy. They look like magic. 
I think they look messy. They do not look messy to me. I love the colors. I love the swirls. I'm going to try to paint like you do. This is very hard. How do you do this? I do not know. No fair. I cannot paint like you do. But I like your paintings. And I like yours. I guess I like my paintings too. But I really like your painting of the sun. I really like your painting of the sun in the sky. I know. Let's trade. Okay, you take my painting and I will take yours. I love it. Half and half, Unicorn sniffed the air. What is that good smell? I baked us something. What is it? A pie. I love pie. Everybody loves pie. I'm hungry. Me too. I could eat the whole pie. I will cut the pie into two slices. Make mine a big slice. I know I will cut the pie in half. You can eat half and I can eat half. Half and half sounds fair. Wow, I do not know if I can eat all of this. This is a lot of pie. It sure looks good. Mmm, that was yummy. Are you done already? I was very hungry. I cannot eat any more. If you do not eat your pie, then it will go to waste. Pie should not go to waste. Growl, growl. Did your stomach growl? Yes, it did. You are still hungry. You should eat the rest of my pie. Then I will get more pie than you. That would not be fair. You are still hungry, but I am full. That is not fair. So if I eat your pie, then we will both be full? That seems fair to me. Fair and square. And that's the end of our story. See you next time.